Ford school board members are now trying to find ways to fund much needed repairs at several aging schools and the price tag for those upgrades keeps skyrocketing. Local 10's Nikki Mohan reports. At Stranahan High School in Fort Lauderdale, visible signs of construction. At Northeast High School in Oakland Park, the aging campus visible from the outside, while on the inside, students say this is what they see. Dilapidated walkways, moldy walls, and leaky roof were among the poster cases for voters passing an $800 million bond to do school repairs in 2014. The estimate to fix Stranahan High School, $16.8 million. Now, $30.5 million. The estimate then to fix Northeast High School, $14.5 million. Now, $31.4 million. The school board be it asked to approve the new cost. Since you're talking about so much money and you really don't have a lot of detail on what you're spending the money on. The significant increase in costs not sitting well with the public or board. But at some point the board has to decide are we making the wisest decision with the taxpayer money? Are we putting um, band-aids on something that for the same amount of money could be replaced. After two hours, the board voted to approve the budget increase for Stranahan because it included the addition of an improved cafeteria. But for Northeast High School, it's back to the drawing board to come up with a new plan. I'm not overly concerned about the delay. I'm more concerned about doing what's right and the better utilization of the funds. They're going to revisit the issue of Northeast High School by June 26 before they get out for the summer. But the things taxpayers want to know is why has this delay been so long? And it's more than just two schools in the district that need repairs. The district says it's committed to paying for all the renovations it's promised. And of course, everyone wants to know at what cost. I'm live in Fort Lauderdale. Nikki Mohan, Local 10 News.